old world is nearly returned to us. A world that wants you to do nothing more than diminish. It will clutch at your potential, pull you down, choke you with lies until you can't see the truth. But we, we can be your guide from these depths, your passage from the tyranny of human rule. All we ask is that you climb. Do not adjust. Do not change. For now, you walk the bonded stair. Interesting. Uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm King of Baden. I think that's the same dude who was talking last time. So, I don't really know what he's trying to get into here. It sounds like he's trying to have an uprising of everyone besides humans, basically. Which kind of, I mean, what he's saying is that the humans are in charge, which makes sense considering all these things came to Earth or ended up on Earth by whatever means that they came through, whether it was uh, people like Verge who are genetically modified, not Verge, Verge is an alien, like Cherub who's genetically modified into what he is. I don't, I can't remember what Zypher is off the top of my head, but she might be also, not sure. I think we said we're going to do this one, right? The, uh... Yeah, because we said we're going to save the DJs last time. I remember that from when I was just editing. Um, she's still in here doing that mission. She's going to bring in a bunch of money for us. We just bought the enhanced ARs. And now we're doing research into elite field teams that we can start getting up to level 3s in uh, certain locations. Uh, and play with this one a little bit more. Reduce district unrest. Because there's additions based on how leveled up the field team is. So, we're going to get into that too. But we still have a lot of level 1 field excuse me we still have a lot of lot of level one field teams that we're gonna have to deal with first before we need before we even really need to look into level threes but reclamation go ahead and get this a lot one of time on hostage situations so you know how it goes focus on any hostile who threatens your vip and get them to safety as soon as you can okay let me make sure everyone has, has everything that they need enhanced smgs we have uh, oh, we have a plasma grenade. Four to five damage. Ten radius. Oh, range is ten. Radius is three. They're both shred, but this one's just a flat upgrade, it seems. I have them carrying the tango grenade because that's a strategic thing. And it should replenish every round. But that doesn't mean we can't take any more grenades. I don't like him in blue. I don't recall turning him blue. Whatever. Alright. So... Plasma grenade there, and a frag grenade here. So we're just about fully kitted out with everyone. Maybe, uh, let me make items available just to be sure. Mock weave, you have no armor. You have the extra padding. Uh, I'm going to save the money though, since we're about to start working on master crafted, um, uh, things basically, which I, I know are going to cost a bit of money. I think I jumped straight to Master Crafted Armor and skipped right over Enhanced in my own playthrough, which Sacred honestly didn't work out. Doesn't like being called out on their crap, especially on the radio. This station has repeatedly attacked their bonded stare broadcasts. I would like to attack their broadcasts, preferably with high explosives. Of course he does. Um, yeah, it actually didn't work out because I focused down the armor path and didn't do anything for the weapons. Um. So that meant all my weapons were weak. Concussive charge. Okay. Clamor detonates a powerful charge, rupturing all enemies near the breach point. Usable on wall breach points, one use per turn. Is he not using his. Hang on a second. He has the breach charge. I don't know. I wonder if he has to have the breach charge for that to work. Uh, we'll have you send in the hollow scanner first. Then we have Terminal go and Bridge. I think Bridge should go before Terminal, actually. Bridge, then Terminal. That way, if Bridge lifts someone, Terminal can take the shot on them. And hopefully we got a, a few more than the last time we did this. That's not going to be good, but it's surprised so it doesn't get a turn this time. I'm more concerned with this aggressive Android. I, okay. That makes sense, though. I did choose the thing that wasn't actually spotted but this should take it out yep and now we'll go for the purifier 
You have the purifier and what the turret up there. So yeah, we're gonna go for the purifier. And hopefully we can get patchwork to uh to hack that um hang on, I can't even see it. There it is. Hack the uh turret and have that on our side, or at least not shooting at us, even if it can't um see anything to aim at. So we have what is that? A commando. Can we see with the sticky? No, we can't. Damn, can we do anything to it from here? We cannot. So we are in a t we came in at a bad position for this encounter. I get dashed to right there, but I don't think I'll have anything to do after that. From this angle, I should be able to do something though. Maybe I'll be able to shoot the sticky grenade at them, and they might go back and toward back towards that other uh, turret too. Let's see. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to see, actually. That works out. That almost dangerous for that uh, civilian, though. That would have been bad for us, actually. I'm sure it looks bad when something we do causes the death of a team. Not teammate, but civilians. Did we get it? Uh, yeah, we did. Okay. But then that one's going to go first. I don't Unless it has an angle on, on Claymore and actually has the range to do something, we should be fine. Oops. But we also can shock it, right? No, we can't see it, so we can't shock it. And I'm going to move her a little bit closer. But I want to keep her blocked from it um, by this box here. And hopefully it can't see us. Yeah, I just had to go into radio overwatch. Something that I realized, too, like literally just now, uh, while I was making sure that I would have the sound effects, is that uh, Verge served would have served the same role that Patrick is going to serve for us and switching specific enemies that aren't well for Verge it was people who weren't Scions Crossing but now up. for her it's um, enemy elect electronics yeah we have a there's a number four where's that purifier at I don't know where it's at I oh it's way back there actually I guess I could overwatch in this direction I mean it's so far away actually I don't think I need to worry about it I might just uh, keep on pushing. Yeah. On the way. So who can you see? You can only see this turret, and you can do targeting. Target assist applies an effect on enemies within range. So it looks like this thing has a very limited range, um, and hacking it, we might be able to get everyone out of its range before it can uh, do anything to us. But we might not also because that um, purifier is so far away. We don't have any angles or any way to take it out anytime soon, really. Because I know the purif the purifier doesn't have that much of a Do range, I think. Yeah. So that's really all the purifier has to offer us. Well, not even offer us, but just to, to do. Yeah, it's way out of range. Interesting how I put it so far away. I guess we'll move all the way up to here. Oh, no. Can we do anything? Yeah, we can't do anything else from there. And I don't know if that thing's gonna have an angle on. Melting hardware. On the That's purifier. Damage. So I'm gonna start doing some damage to it just in case I have to take it out. Um. Before. Um. We take out the purifier. Let's see. Do I have an angle on it? I do. I'm going to with a stupor, because Battle Madness, I'm pretty sure, it doesn't really affect the Purifier. Because last time we did it on them, they just moved around. So now we have them stunned, so we can move up on them freely. Radio Overwatch is only going to affect those areas. So yeah, we're fine with taking that out. I think I'm going to use uh, Patchwork to continue taking it out, since she does the extra damage to it. And also because... I don't know. It just makes sense to use her. I really have no other reason. I said because, and that's really it. You're stunned, so we continue to move up on you. Shifting my position. Switch A turn code grenade stick. here is not going to do anything really, but this grenade should go off before that turn. Yeah, so it's going to remove its cover, and then we'll be able to move Patchwork up and possibly get her to do something. Actually, no, we're using her to take this out. We took it just to break the other turret, and then have to kill it on our own maybe taking the other one would have been uh more useful but there's not really I much can we can do about there. that 
And he should have a higher chance to hit because then the neural network. So now that grenade might kill it. Yeah, okay. And we're still trying to locate the VIP. Oh, this is a three encounter, alright. Should have checked that before we got into it. That's the one thing I forget to check all the time. Sacred coil aren't holding back. You must really hate this DJ. They do. What they plan to do to him. It is not pleasant. Mm, I forgot Verge would know these things first. But yeah, the encounters is something that I really should be looking at before then. Units automatically activate Overwatch after the breach. Uh, all units entering three have plus three mobility for for one round. So that's not really going to be useful to us. Everyone entering Overwatch is definitely more useful. Patchwork, you can use your combat scanner on this entrance. Terminal, and then Verge. Because we know there's a lot of enemies here. I probably should have checked that too before I used the scanner instead of just doing it, basically. Moving in. I don't know how it did that without actually entering the room, but uh, I'm not complaining because we're trying to kill this dude instantly. And that's the aggressive enemy taken care of. We have 100% on this one. We have 100% on them too. And that's going to do... We do 46 damage, so we'd have to do max damage to kill here. But I want to take that chance anyways. Because these two are alert. Um, so we're better off taking them out. And then Verge can finish them off. Right? Yeah. The surprised enemy isn't an issue for us. It's everything else that would be. So we have a chance to get some extra Watch stuff here. Stuff right there. Where is our VIP? Oh, they're still not here, actually. Can I get something all the way in there? I can't. Is there anything, anyone else? There's them all the way in the back. I want to get this on them. Well, actually, they might be able to move. No, they will be able to move before that goes off. So maybe I'm better off moving up and taking a I shot on them. There. Let's see how much... The, oh, I lost my angle on them. Well, damn. Alright, I guess we'll just drop the grenade on them. I don't even think we can shoot it right now, though. So, where else can we get this to land? We can get it to land on the turret. So, we'll do, we'll do that instead. I wonder how he's going to throw that. Alright, just teleport it there. Oh, forgot about that. That works out. Alright, cool. Patchwork. Now. We could... I do want to get get that um that evidence because that gives us extra usually Illyrium, I think is what he is gonna give uh, Overwatch on that direction. We don't want them coming through. That's the fastest way for them to get to us. That's gonna be their turn, but nothing's in range of it, so it, does, it just it can only go into that radio Overwatch. Mm. We didn't really, we're not getting the best start points here because we can't, we're not really close to the enemy. The number two guy now is super far away. Covering the distance. Yeah, I knew you'd step out. Yeah, that's not bad. Hopefully he doesn't get close enough to actually use his weapon though. I think it's a flamethrower. It looks like it at least. We must advance. Okay, that seemed like a useless little move right there, but I'm not going to complain. We can get you in a stupor. Yeah, okay. Alright, that helps out. And then you can move up to here. If we can get him in here... Can we drop another grenade on them? On the uh, turret? We can, but it's gonna go off right after the turret. And not before. Um, I could've put a grenade on them. I don't know if Patchwork is close enough to actually get to that point. Um, the uh, box to get it, but it doesn't matter. Does it? It does. I want Going that actually. Move. That does put Patchwork in danger, though. I didn't actually think about that before I made the move. Uh, contraband cash. So it's probably gonna take that shot on her. Uh, interesting. Maybe it doesn't have an angle. Oh well, I'm not complaining. So, so far we're doing pretty good, so this is going to be a good mission, no matter what happens at this point, since no one's taking damage and this is the Our last VIP encounter. Is in the building, along with an impressive amount of sacred coil flunkies. 
DJ VIP in the house. Until we escort him out of the house. Ooh, so clever. <laughs> Alright, enemies deal minus one damage during the breach. Successful hits will crit. Uh, last unit through this entrance will be rooted for one turn. That's going to be annoying because we don't have anyone who can um, negate that ability. I think um, Zephyr is immune to that effect. Minus one damage during the breach. She has the lowest amount of health, so I want to give that to her. If his weapon crits, it'll kill just about anything, so I want to put him through there. And then we'll put Terminal and Verge through... Uh, that's not what I wanted. Missed on that one. Terminal and Verge through this one. Oh, he has low health too, actually. Hmm. He has an ability that can save himself from damage. Uh, though, so... I didn't change the order again. I forgot to do that. Oh, well. Alright. If we land a shot on you, we're not likely to kill. We'd have to roll a 5 or 6 to kill there. On you, though, we'd have to do the same thing, actually. So let's go for you and hope for it. It's not bad. I'll take that damage. You or you. 46. We're not likely to kill there, so I'm going to go for this one. And just do, deal some damage to these turrets, because those are the things that are going to be annoying. The most annoying, at least. You're going to shoot, and we're right in your face, so you're not likely to miss. And now you will crit if you hit anything. The Guardian is going to be annoying. I think that's what I was confusing last time. Or uh, what it is. That's annoying. We couldn't take it out. But it is hollow targeted because we did shoot it. Alright, let's see what's going on in here. Always knew XCOM would come for me. Didn't see it going down like this. Holy crap, that's Floyd Tesseract. The ranty guy? I expected more spittle at the corners of his mouth. Preposterous. I possess no natural aura lubricant. Mr. Tesseract, we need to get you out of there. I know the drill. I devised the drill. Head down, follow orders, keep living. Old habits die hard. Interesting. I don't know anything about him. I assume he's in somewhere in the lore of, um... Of, uh... No, I want to cooperate with Patchwork. I assume he's somewhere in the lore of the game to have been known like that and actually introduced in that way too. Or we can use Chain Lightning and take it out completely. Or we can use Chain Lightning on them and weaken them. We also have a Ceasefire Grenade. I think... Uh, can we reprogram? If we get this reprogram, that's going to be very useful because it's overwatching. We can put it in overwatch in that area. Let's see. Yeah, we got it. The only downside is right here where it says, I'm pointing with my finger too. I don't know why, like the mouse isn't there. When it goes to T minus four, that means it worked. But if it goes to T minus one, that means it didn't. Um, we don't have to shoot at you anymore. You're next in the turn. We could hit you with subdue and take you out completely and then not have to worry about you. And the guardian is going to be an issue for claymore and patchwork and not these two so being out in the open right now it might be okay especially since um verge will get his turn before the number six one he's rooted though right now i forgot about that he has the plasma grenade so we can throw that right there and take out all of its cover and deal that extra damage to it shredded its armor so now we can take a shot too so that works out yeah so the only thing we have left to worry about now is the the Guardian. I think we have cover from it right now, from everywhere else. This is the ability that I didn't want to see. It's like a Cherub Shield, except for it's it can be spread to a lot of enemies all at once. So let's disable your weapon. Let me make sure this is going to hit. Disable your weapon. And then we will, we can take a shot on you to do 46 damage. Or if we do the chain jolt, it's a guaranteed f four damage. Um, it's a guaranteed four there, or we have a potential of four to six, but we also can miss and do zero. So I'm gonna do this one though, in this case, because we want to start breaking down his shield. 
Electrified. Yeah. Okay. So shield is now removed. And we can drop this on him and it's gonna go off before their turn. So we wanna, uh, let me make sure it's actually gonna hit them without hitting Patchwork either. I think this will work. Patchwork should have her covered behind the HVAC is what it looks like. And you only have an angle on that or the thing you just put down. Hmm. And you don't have the sticky grenade, so we can if we move up, we're putting ourselves in danger. So I'm gonna move over here. That we have an angle on the spot. next turn, just in case. Careful, you're exposed. You can fire on the guardian, and we're gonna do that because yeah, I mean it really doesn't matter what happens with you. It's hacked right now, so. Oh yeah, the VIP. The I forgot I had to get over to them. Uh, we're gonna put safeguard on you just in case the purifier decides to switch his turn And then we'll Team up with no No, not you either with patchwork That way she can go in there and secure the um Moving. The, the VIP So she's gonna dash all the way in to get him Watch my back Move on. So now it's his turn. We need to get him to, I assume, somewhere down here. Yeah, okay. And right here should be fine. He has the extra armor from that area. I don't know if Verge will be able to um, overwatch up to this area. But at least we can do it like this. That way if anything comes in and comes towards the turret, we'll have that uh spot. What did he just do? Oh he has to reload and then take a shot. Thought they had me. Okay. Shrap no. We'll go off before their next turn. So I can drop that there. You still have your turn code grenade. But I'm gonna put you in overwatch from and watch I think we, that's pretty good actually. We're watching anything that's gonna come through the far one and if something comes through this one and goes left, we'll be safe. How much time do I have left on this thing? I don't know. Maybe one turn, maybe after this turn, it'll be uh, done. Where can we shoot? We can shoot that and take it out now, but there, I have no reason to because it's already gonna die. It won't get its turn before that grenade. So we'll put it in radio overwatch. And then on the next turn, I think we're gonna have to deal with it. Um, moving I'm gonna use do I have cooperation I don't and I'm gonna put her also in overwatch over this area just in case they come in and go to the left because I think Claymore barely has an angle on it that dude's taken out now we'll dash you over to here and we also need to start moving our team back especially patchwork because she's deep in there right now all right let's see how many shots we get off right now Okay, that's taken out completely. Nice. You're finna step in and get a few shots, probably. Or just the one from Claymore. The shotguns are really going crazy. Can I? Well, I can. How much time do I have left on this? I have one turn left. So I'm gonna move up to here and then use Chaining Jolt on the, um... Sorry. So we don't have to deal with it turning back to its Over normal sides. Target. Right? A thousand cuts. Reprogram. The effect lasts for three turns. Yeah, so we got that done right on time. Whose turn is it now? It's his turn. We still haven't secured the VIP, so we shouldn't be taking any of I our agents out yet. Everything. You're Appreciate gonna it. you're gonna do a four dash back actually, because you won't get anywhere without it, really. Moving. Check your fire. Okay, so everyone's gonna get a turn before we have to leave. So I'm gonna dash everyone, these two, the next few people back, and then I'm gonna put Verge and Claymore in Overwatch. You're getting out of here now because you're the reason why we came here. There's no reason to keep you here any longer than you need to be. Okay, Patchwork. 
cannot get to anywhere that has decent cover besides right against the wall. So maybe I'm going to put her here and then overwatch her up to the top also. So if anything comes towards that ledge, then Patrick is going to take the shot on them and we won't have to worry about it. Covering the squad. Yeah. And then... I don't know if your overwatch angle is really the best, but we're basically watching if anything comes up to that ledge. I'm going to assume that they can't see anyone from that far back to be able to... Uh, what you call it? i throw that grenade up there and then enter overwatch, actually. That way, if anything comes in and stays in that area, they're standing on a landmine, basically. And then I can put him in overwatch and watch that side of the steps, just in case something comes from the far side and comes all the way around instead of going directly to the spot. Or not, actually. I didn't realize he had that angle. Oh, well. Anything that's stepping foot in here right now is dying. Cooperation on patchwork to get her the extra move back. Maybe we can get behind at least that. Yeah, that's a, that's exactly what I expected her to be able to get to. I guess the grenade didn't work out, but that's really only on him. Um, if I take out, I can I can start removing people now. I think because she doesn't have cooperation, we don't have team up to move. His his what's his name? Fuck Claymore. Back. I almost called him Shrapnel again, because that one time I... Yeah, whatever. That's gonna go off. Prime self-destruct, which I expected, and now it's probably gonna rush all the way up to us, or get as close as it can. Let's see... Yeah, okay. That armor is a problem. Hmm... Hopefully it doesn't blow up and kill that civilian, that's gonna be an issue for us. Okay, he's fine. And we will be able to get Verge and Claymore out. Moving quickly. And then the only person left in here is going to be Patchwork. And she has full cover. Evac? And she has full cover from everyone ammunition. else. Yeah, that's fine, dog. We're going to get you out of here, too. I could throw that grenade. I could throw one last grenade. Just, just to, Throwing just in case. Forces. If something comes in and then drops down and stays right there. That? Well, you're going to have to work with that because you're going to be the only one left in here, so. Okay, well, it doesn't even matter. All their turns come after Patchwork. And Patchwork is leaving right now. Can anyone cover me? That's pretty good. I don't know. If, did we take any damage this one? I don't think we did. So, yeah, that, this was a pretty good encounter. I think we had all misses, right? No, Terminal did take. I don't even remember it taking the damage, but it, it had to have been in the last little area. That's not bad though. I'm fine with that. Oops, hit my mic stand, of course. All right, Floyd says like, what is IFC anyway? International Food Corporation, Intel, Intel, intergalactic fashion conglomerate. I'll tell you what it really stands for: the Invincible Floater Conspiracy. Ever wonder what happened to those vertical takeoff and murder machine, and murder machines? You heard the elders turned all the floaters into archons sure some but the rest are pulling strings we won't see until it's too late keep your eyes on the skies interesting good work shutting down sacred coils genetic testing program city 31 can sleep safer tonight interesting so we still don't know who this guy is yet and our investing ooh, upgrades and a new recruit let's see what we let's see what the upgrades for, oh and the scavenger markets here too I don't think they have a superior auto loader. I still don't use the auto loader that much. The best thing that I could probably get here is the increased aim. But I think I want to. I need to focus on my field teams now, so I don't want to get any of those. Uh, we already looked at that. He still has his training. She's almost done with the spec up, so we're getting close to a lot of things now. You have two days left on the expert field teams, and then we're gonna start getting into our master crafted um things. Probably starting with the armor to increase our health uh, a lot more. Alright, so we can get Axiom, Shelter, or Torque. We... Hmm... I don't know about all of these right now. Shelter is a Scion, but he gives buffs. Axiom is high damage and cover destruction. But he has to be close for the smash. And Battering Ram too. Well, actually, Battering Ram is a breach thing. It says door breach point with a chance to panic nearby enemies. Burst through a door breach point. 
So that can be useful for negating aggressive enemies. Um, and then there's also Torque with her Bind and Tongue Pull. Hmm. I know Tongue Pull and Bind can be very useful. And I'm not sure about Axiom's Smash ability, especially since we have Chrysalids out there, which are melee types. But maybe that'll help with the Chrysalids because he might... I can't remember if he gets a reaction. Higher Rage raises the chance of applying disabling effects with a melee attack, but also increases the risk of going berserk. Rage can be increased manually or by taking damage. He'll come in with 11 health. Now he's swapping places. I think it's between Axiom or Torque. And I've never really played around with Axiom uh, as a character, so let me, let me choose him. Let's see what his bio says. Born and trained on an invasion transport ship. Actively participated in Invasion of Earth, part of the first wave into Paris. Selected as a candidate for conversion into a muton infused with human genetic material. So that's what he is, a muton. Uh, after retraining, served as various advent city centers as high value target security transfer. City 31 provides security as a starport and uh, ascension tower. After advent sur surrendered, he was instrumental in stopping a chrysalid outbreak in, in the fringe, 41 years old. So he's pretty old, actually, then. Detonation of bridge, detention of bridged due to his role in ending the Bugtown massacre. Joined the reclamation agency as XCOM at XCOM's request. His ability to lead by example is a poon, po, boon, not poon, to Chimera Squad. Whisper, there's a problem. Axiom, welcome. What's wrong? I uh, noticed someone took the biggest locker. Yep, that was me. I knew you'd get here eventually and grabbed it, so no one else would. Hmm. Don't worry, I'll move my stuff. Yeah, that's the problem. I already did. Violently. You... didn't you see the note? Yeah, afterward. I'll replace what I can. Alright, so now we have Axiom on our team. Agent's abilities. Uh, smash. We read that one. Uh, oh, no, we didn't. Axiom charges to a target and smashes down with both fists. Chance to disorientate, stun, or render unconscious. Higher rage improves the chances to apply the disabling effect. So, it's kind of like Zypher, but with a gun. And I assume it's going to do less damage than Zypher does. A uh, higher rage. So, we, we did read this one. Higher rage raises the chance for applying disabling effects. Uh, and also raises the chance to go berserk. Uh, Axiom increases his their rage. Higher rage raises the chance for applying dis disabling effects. So, this is basically him making himself ang angrier on purpose. So now we have Verge and, uh, not Terminal, Patchwork who have upgrades. Mind Flay. Verge lashes out with his, with, Verge lashes with their mind. I guess he's not, he doesn't have a gender, so maybe I should stop saying he if I remember to. Dealing mental damage to all enemies uh, on the neural network. Damage from Mind Flay will render enemies unconscious, insisting, instead of killing them. So that's going to be pretty good, especially if we can get a lot of, um... I guess chrysalids and stuff like that and the uh basically anything with the mind and the neural network and then use flay will do a lot more damage mind flay uh the gremlin shocks enemies if they move too close to patchwork or if patchwork moves too close to them the attack chains to nearby enemies or threat recognition upgrade combat scanner to have one additional use permission and grant plus 25 crit chance to all allies at the breach point i'm gonna do this one because when we went to the one that had people being near and that it hasn't really been working out. That's what Zypher has. It could be useful against like running her past enemies. Because I know in motion it'll also affect. But I like I like that ability better. Especially since it benefits the whole team and not just one. Uh, maybe I'll be, if I play this game, through this game again on a higher difficulty, I'll be a little more selfish. So he's idle now. So we actually got to the point where we don't have space for everyone to be doing something all the time. Once Terminal finishes his training, I think I'm going to put um, Patrick in there and put Axiom on the team and let Patrick do some training up to get uh, equal to the rest of the team. I don't think I have time. There's Hopefully a wasting I have... disease affecting some hybrid populations worldwide. It's known locally as the Fade. Sacred Coil claims they have a cure. Find out if there's any truth to these broadcasts. Okay. So we have two situations which I was hoping to see. That way we can save the game because I don't want to push too far i want to try and get my episodes to be a little shorter than they were before so now we have this investigation going on we've it seems like we've recovered our except for the fringe we don't look at them 
or the stacks actually i didn't realize that was still pretty high uh reduce city anarchy is what this one's gonna do okay uh requires one more field team one or more field teams at level three i'm gonna upgrade my field teams actually and i'm thinking i'm gonna start off with this finance one yeah upgrade to a finance or upgrade that finance one so that's level two and then so that puts us at oh coincidentally i it was one of the uh ones that we didn't already have a level two on so that works out we have a lot of alirum we actually don't need this at all right now the intel is going to be more useful for us as we try and level up our field team so that's the one i'm going to go for and I'm just trying to make sure that I have everyone in spots that I want them to. We're going to get a whole lot of money. Well, not even a whole lot, but we're going to get a decent influx of money. Uh, we have new supplies. What is she doing? Expert field teams? Never mind. And then they're just going to be sitting here. But Cherub is going to come out and he's going to go back onto the team. I think this is, his, this is his last training that he needs to do. And then we're going to do some changes to our uh, team and see where we end up next. A whole lot of stuff. Lowered, 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 lowered. Well, we had two things rise to one. Oh, wait, no. It's, it doubled everything, actually, so not as good as it seemed at first. The mercenaries you've encountered are from the old Shrike network. City 31 paid them to provide security just after the war. After the formation of 3-1 PD, Shrike was cut loose. By then, they were more of a mercenary outfit than resistance group. Hmm. Who's in charge? It's not that simple. Shrike operates in a loose cell structure. Each cell determines which jobs they're willing to take. Some help guard the city's food supply. And others are muscle for seriously shady people. So what if we run into more in the field? They should have the sense to avoid a fight with reclamation. And if they don't? Standard rules of engagement. Okay. So, well, I think they talked about it in one of the little uh, banter things before. The Bonded Stare, a local pirate radio station, claims to have answers about the fade. Some residents welcome the station's frank assessment of the disease. Well, we're finally hearing the truth. The city council was too afraid to tell us. But not everyone is convinced. It's wishful thinking. Anyone can say they know what's going on. That doesn't mean they do. Channel 37, Celio Dash reporting. Mm, I just thought about it though. We don't really want to take her out because of her reprogrammability. So I think we're going to swap out Verge for this one. Verge for Axiom. And then we're going to put. Verge should have some training, right? Reduce city unrest in all districts by one. Okay, that's pretty good. Wait, no. We have the ability to do this now. Okay. One free field team. That also might be useful too. But we, reducing district unrest and all of them by one might be more helpful. Actually, I don't have, I have no reason to really set all this up. Well, actually, I do. So that way I know what to, what to do when I first come back. Um, Reduce city and in all districts by one. Or district unrest in all districts by one. Do we just have that happen? It looks like we did, actually. I think I'm going to do this one to bring that down to zero. I'm fine with this one hitting two, but this one hitting four is going to be a problem for us. So... This is gonna turn code is gonna be the mission that we do. It's gonna give us a turn code, an acid grenade, and a hazmat seal. That, that's pretty interesting. What's this one gonna give us? A plated vest armor. So this one even has better. This one's gonna be better for us all around. But yeah, so we're gonna put Verge into some training. Dodge increase and plus two health. So we'll, we'll start with the dodge increase. That way he gets shot less. We'll give Zyphor a break on the field teams and swap in her in for. Godmother and put Godmother on the field teams. I really don't think there's a difference to this. I just assume that the research is going to be better. We don't need to do this yet, but Zypher is our highest level, I think. I want to do the one free field team, actually, because all of our uh, district unrest is pretty low right now. Zypher's going to finish up the expert field teams for us, and this is the team that we're going to go out with. Cherub is getting a break for the first time in probably a very long time because he was training and then he went straight. Actually, he's been training for a while. So, but there's not, we don't have anything that we can do with him right now. If we had two slots in either spec ops or training, that would be helpful, but we don't. So, the stacks, minus two, Highland, Renova, Old Town, Downtown, 
Riverside the Fringe. So yeah, it looks like something happened that brought it all down down by one. I didn't pay attention to something, so I don't I don't really know what that was. But that's gonna be all for this video. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out all the socials down below. I turned and face my mic, so hopefully that didn't spike the the volume too much. But yeah, follow all my socials down below. There's different stuff on all of them. I don't really use Twitter that much, but that's because I don't have any Twitter followers. Oh well. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.